watchful gaze of the 68 tonne Red Bull sculpture. We are here at the Red Bull ring for the fifth round of the 2015 Euro Formula Open. The championship battle between Konstantin Tereshenko and Vitor Baptista was as close as could be after Silverstone. But let's see how the first event of the second half of the season unfolds. Race one at the Nürburgring saw Vitor Baptista leaping away as Jaren Stern made a bad start and got bogged down. The field made it through the first of the traps, which is the very tight first corner as they sprinted up here. It was Baptista who led the way as Leonardo Del Pulcini gained several places with a bold move into turn two. Behind, however, a chain reaction saw the Corbetta car of Alexei Chuklin launched into the barrier and that brought out the safety car. Meanwhile, Halfway around the first lap, Vitor Baptista made a mistake, dropped down the field, and his recovery drive was error strewn. That allowed Pulcini to move up to the front of the field, but that slight mistake through turn three allowed Jaren Stern to mount a challenge. Both drivers in search of their maiden victory in the Euro Formula Open. Pulcini withstood that pressure, and then as the race were on, Stern began to fade, being passed first of all by Konstantin Tereshenko, and then a few laps later, by Team West Tech teammate Tanar Safian Thirakul. So it was a second victory of the season for Matteo Devania's team and a first victory in the Euro Formula Open for, Matteo, for Leonardo Pulcini. Pulcini took the win from Konstantin Tereshenko in second and third to Safian Thirakul. It's a very measured drive from the Italian as he stood on the top step of the rostrum. An awesome feeling for me. It's my first victory in uh, in my Formula career. Uh, I thank you, thank you a lot uh, to my team Dub Racing. Uh, they did a very good job. The weekend started uh, really well. Uh, start from free practice, and now race one, my first victory, and I'm very happy. to race two and Vitor Baptista knew that he had to make amends from the disappointment on Saturday. He did it in the best possible fashion, converting pole position and breaking clear early on as once more the field scrabbled safely through the first turn. The early exchanges were a good opportunity to gain ground but the tangle amongst the RP Motorsport drivers causing plenty of delay. Well Pulcini couldn't repeat the heroics of race one but nonetheless he was still in the mix having a great scrap with Tanel Sathi and Thirical. In the wars was Andres Saravia a huge spin through the penultimate turn, but fortunately just costing him a couple of places. Also showing well was Jose Manuel Vilalta, who was very much in the mix as Pulcini looked to progress up through the pack, out front it was Baptista who had broken a long way clear. In pursuit behind it was Yaren Stern and Yu Kanamaru, both of whom looking to take advantage for a disappointing day for Tereshenko. Out front though, it was a victory for Vitor Baptista, closing up once more in the title fight with Konstantin Tereshenko. The RP Motorsport celebrating success with a fine second place to Yaren Stern and Yu Kanamaru, completing the podium ahead of Tereshenko. It's a celebration in the sweltering heat of the Red Bull Ring for Vitor Baptista. Next stop, Spa. And the elder Porcini capping his fine weekend with rookie class honours. Uh, yesterday was a bad day for me. I did a mistake. I was on pole. I was first position on my first lap. But I did the mistake and I went out and after the, the engine broke it. But anyway, today I did the pole again and I could do a good pace during the race, open a little bit, a little bit gap in the final and it was perfect. Thank you team for the, all the, the job that you did uh, during the night.